Welcome back to another video. I am Gold Raven, and this one is on just a little bit of odds and ends of everything. What I mean about odds and ends is there's a couple things that my cousin had discovered as well as myself when I was playing on my secondary account, Hollow Raven. I'll get into him in just a moment, but the very first thing is right now as of the filming of this video if you're watching this upon the upload you're going to want to jump over to the green guard forest and once you're here you are going to want to head to the left and you're going to want to go right over here into the Tricken cave upon doing so you are going to see that you got a new title now this only occurs throughout the April Fool's event. Now, mind you, this might be something that has worked the entire time. Possibly it's something they never actually removed from the last April Fool's. But if it is a title you can only get this time of year, it's worth jumping in and heading to the Dricken Cave and grabbing this free title. Taking a look at the game plan, we can see some of the things that are happening now and some of the things that are coming soon. So, of course, we've already got the 3v3 pirate ship war, the April first thing heartwood forest which is of course coming very soon and of course then we've got the breaking benjamin and a bunch of other cool stuff happening down here they have interactable pets of course they say intractable pets which is of course a typo and they intentionally kept it that way glazelle now of course it does not say happening now but that is technically incorrect as there are some pets that are interactable right now now I did already show that the pets you got with your collections, you can simply click on them and it's gonna bring up the collection that you got them in. And this is a really awesome feature. This means that these pets that you got from your collection are in fact interactable. A couple people in the battle concert pointed out that this pet right here is also interactable and you can simply click on it and he dies. All you've got left is this little tiny ball. Now it doesn't stay dead, of course, the minute you move he comes back to life, but you can just kill him again. Isn't that awesome? It was a super cool thing. I'd seen them doing it and I just about fell over. So I decided to check out some other pets that might be interactable and I went through my entire list of pets. Now, the pets that I'm showing you are the pets that I own, but there may be other pets out there that are interactable that I don't own. So the next one is the special unicorn, and I'm not really sure what emotes it has, but it was pretty cool because it does flips and then just kind of lays there, and he I don't even know what he did there. He just does really, I think there's three different emotes that he does. <laughs> that is the funniest one of all. He just keels over, dead. And then you can click on him again and he does the spins. So I'm pretty sure those are the only three that he does. Dead. That's got to be my favorite. So funny. So that is the next one. Then there was this one here. And I believe this one here also does three emotes as well. One is to fall down dead. Then the next one is that one, which is kind of like that. Ah! And then he does, oh, okay, well, fall down dead. Yeah, we already got that one. Thank you. Let's do the next one. Yes, we already know. There's three, there is swear. Uh, there, there we go. The hammer swing, which is pretty lethal. And we've got a couple more. Baby Shark does one as well. well. Where is he? Oh. So Baby Shark does the tail whip and he dies. Let's do... No, no, not, not tail whip. There you go. The chomp. He does chomp. So that's the Baby Shark. Was there another one? I... Maybe there wasn't another one. No, you know what? Oh, Poop Deck. That's the last one. And Poop Deck does something really, really disturbing. This is what Poop Deck does. 
Oh, that is disgusting. Look at that pile of poop. Oh, nasty. I had recently announced in the AE Federation, which is my Discord server. If you want to check that out, the link will be in the description of this video. There is a Rate My Set channel in that server, and in there people post cool sets that they have, and then other people can rate them and stuff. So I decided just last week, at the end of last week, or the beginning of this week, I don't remember, that I wanted to take an armor set every time I do a video. Maybe not every time, but 90% of the time when I make a video, I'm going to have one section which is going to be a set of the day. So the set of the day today is Nazgra's set and this is really, really cool. Very nice mesh. He's got the Eclipsian or however you say that, Eclipsian armor stuff mixed with the Cyber Knight. So it's a Cyber Knight mixed with the Eclipsian. Looks really cool. I could definitely wear this outfit because it looks really awesome. Definitely worth the set of the day. If you want a chance at getting your set put into the set of the day sequence, then you can post your set in the Rate My Set. Now I did already mention my Hollow Raven character, which is my new protagonist for my Fresh Start series that I recently started. My Gold Raven account is maxed out when it comes to friends, but my Hollow Raven account is brand new and currently only has to friends. When it came to inviting friends to the Hollow Raven account, I was basically going to do it as a first come first serve, but then I felt this wasn't really fair to people who have different time zones than me. So if they're in different time zone and they can't play the same time as me or something, but they would like to be my friend, it made this complicated. So in order to make this as fair as possible, I set up a channel in the AE Federation that is called Hollow Raven Friends. And if you enter that, you have a chance of being on Hollow Raven's friend list. This way was the only way I could think of a way to make it fair. I'm also going to be doing a, con not contest, but it'd be like a random event thingy during the Fresh Start recordings where I can add more friends that way as well. Also, every single time that I start a Fresh Start video, I will be posting in the AE Federation, in the events channel, letting people know that I'm going to be recording, So that, and I'll also be dropping the summon code so people can jump in and play along while I'm filming the Fresh Start series. The Old Heartwood is going to be leaving really soon, so the AE Federation Guild, which is a section of the AE Federation, the AE Federation is a community, not a guild, but there is a guild section that is optional if you want to join that, and we got together as a guild and took some screenshots. And I thought that was kind of cool because this is going to be the last time we'll be able to be in this area. Also, one last thing, I get a lot of people asking me what server I play on and I would always say Red Dragon because that was a server I would always play on. However, that has recently changed. I held a poll on the AE Federation as to which AQ3D server should be the official AEF server and the people that voted outweighed the people that voted red. So the Black Dragon is now the official AEF server, which means the Black Dragon will be the official server that I play on from now on. So if I'm playing or recording a video, 90% of the time it will be in the Black Dragon. So there we go. That is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.